Catheter-based renal intervention is a new therapeutic option for patients with resistant hypertension. During ESC 2010, a German team showed that this technique also has an impact on glycemic metabolism. Well, we see that catheter-based renal denervation could reduce blood pressure and beside that blood pressure reduction we see an improvement in the glucose metabolism in those patients by a reduction of the fasting glucose around about 10 milligrams per deciliter and we see a reduction by 50 percent in the insulin concentration. We could um, reverse the diabetic status of four patients. They went from diabetes to glucose intolerance or from glucose intolerance to normal glucose tolerance um, throughout the period of six months. Beyond the clear cardiovascular benefits of antihypertensive treatments, the question of their impact on total mortality has so far been unclear. This was the objective of a meta-analysis of 21 clinical trials conducted in the last 10 years from which results were reported during ESC 2010. We have seen that altogether in a cohort of 200,000 patients, there is a significant reduction by 3% of the total mortality, we have found three trials where clearly is a strong benefit. The three tri trials which drove the benefits on total mortality are ASCOT BPLA, HIVET and ADVANCE. Altogether they represent a cohort of more than 30,000 patients. The three drugs evaluated in these trials were perindopril, indapamide and amlodipine. The conclusion that we can draw from this meta-analysis First, we are effective with our modern treatment, I mean S inhibitor and IRB, on the total mortality. But apparently, from the three trials, we are more effective if we are using certain S inhibitors, which in these three, three trials determine an excellent reduction of the total mortality. The RESPONSE study tested the impact of nurse intervention on the mortality risk of post-acute coronary syndrome patients. In it, 754 patients from 11 centres in the Netherlands were randomised after ACS either to a usual care arm or a usual care plus four nurse visits during the first six months. During these visits, conventional risk factor targets were managed. The end point of the study was a mortality score at one year. We saw that the risk of mortality was reduced by about 17%, which was statistically significant, which is clinically significant. Usual care was better than we anticipated, so it was more difficult to show any difference. But even on top of that, the nurses were pretty successful in reducing risk, particularly by uh, lowering blood pressure and by lowering cholesterol. And the intervention that we designed was relatively simple. We, we tried to make it practical too. I mean, four visits to a nurse is something that can be realized anywhere. So we believe that this is practical and feasible and can be implemented into practice anywhere. 